Now, after this, you can have a rest for a while in child pose position. Just a couple of breaths, we will rest. After that, we'll come for the next hip opener is the Marjari Asana. Okay. Inhale, lifting up. Make sure hips are square here. We're not leaning other side as I described in our last video as well. Exhale your knee, come to your chin. So inhalation, lift up. Exhalation, chin. Couple of times, like eight to ten. It's up to you. Here we will do a few times, so you can know. Exhale. Same with other leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chin. Inhale, lift. Chest open. Exhale, chin. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release. From here, rest in the child pose and rest the head down. After you finish your rest, you can come back again. Tabletop position. Now, a very good hip opener, horse riding position. From there, you have to bring your right foot forward for the beginners. Okay, they can move the leg step by step. We will do. Okay, otherwise this you can do from the downward dog as well. So bringing the right leg front, make sure front leg is 90 degree and then you're pushing your pelvis towards to the floor. Adjust the foot, your knee and ankle should be in line. Your heel not going in and knees not going further. So trying to align them so you can feel a good stretch here opening the hip. Resting your fingertips on the floor. According to your knee, you can rest your fingertips, squaring your hip, and then push the pelvic as much as you can. You want to go more deeper, you can come slightly up, and you can hands on the hips, squaring them, chest open, shoulders are completely rolling back, and then pushing the pelvic down. Push it down as much as it goes, okay? Chest opening slowly keep your hands on the remove the hands from your hips you can interlock and then trying to open chest and lift your arms then push a bit more you can adjust the foot if needed and then keep pushing make sure the buttocks sitting bones are trying to keep tucked in just tuck your pelvic so this is rolling downward and then you can push a bit more to open your pelvic region push and chest up keep lifting the chest keep rolling the shoulders and pushing down maintain this then slowly exhale bring your hands back very slowly move the right leg back then from here slowly bring the left leg forward between the hands then again begin push 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 slowly okay Keep squaring the hips, pushing the pelvis down, your fingertips are supporting, slowly inhale, come up, hands on your hips, squaring the hip, pushing it down, now you can see here, okay, when you go downwards, it happens automatically, the arch, so you have to keep tuck your pelvic, just moving this part upwards, so it will open the right hip joint, okay, your pelvic, Pushing it downwards, down, chest opening, keep lifting. Roll the shoulder, interlock your finger, lift your arms, chest open. Keep breathing, lift up. Push it downwards. Slowly hands on the hips, exhale down and move the left leg slowly back. Then afterwards, Sit on the heels, Vajrasana position. Okay, you can rest in the Vajrasana position and rest for a while.
normalize your breath here. Just feel the opening of your pelvic raising deeper here. And gently open your eyes from here. Move from the position. Now, open the legs according to your convenience. Okay, they can be three feet, three and a half feet, four feet, but make sure your both sitting bones should be adjusted on the floor and you're, you do not have the back issue. If back pain, then we have to modify the posture. Okay, so if the back pain happening and too much tightness in the legs happening, we can bend the legs. Make sure your feet, okay, make sure your feet is flexed, okay, feet is flexed, knees bending, and your spine is completely straight now. Or if you have a block, you can adjust under the knees like this, so both ways, today we don't have, sorry, so you can adjust the block under the knee, or you can do it without the block as well. Then from here, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, rotate your torso, and exhale, going down towards to the left side. Inhale, come up, exhale, rotate, and slowly going towards to the right side. When you're going down, make sure your torso is rotating completely, okay? You're not only just moving your upper body, you're just working from the waist, as I will show you now. Inhale, exhale, rotate your torso from the waist. From the waist, you are rotating. So abdomen is trying to facing towards your thigh and then you are going down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, rotate and slowly going down. Inhale, couple of times, at least 10 times each side we have to do that. And at the lastly, exhale. We have to walk by hands, walk by hands as much as we can go with the straight spine. Who having the back issue, please avoid this posture. Okay, keep going on, keep going on as much as you can, or you can completely fold forward with the straight spine. Keep looking forward if back is rounding, better to make your spine straight and legs active. Slowly inhale, coming back and exhale, very slowly you're bringing the legs together and then hug your knees together. Then after this, you can just release or you can keep, you can relax in Shavasana and you can even simple cross your legs and then you can relax in this position. This will give a very good relaxation to your legs, to your hips, to your groins, to your abductors, your knees, calves, feet. The work we did today for the legs, it will be completely relaxed through this. And after like, you can switch in like a couple of breaths, like 10 to 15 breaths, like the right leg is over, left leg is over and then after that you can change and then again relax for a while 10 to 15 breaths when this done after this you can turn and slowly come back from the savasana position and then finish your practice here hope you enjoyed the practice today thank you so much namaste be in touch. Enjoy the day.